I am consciously optimistic that the talks between the Islamic Republic of Afghanistan and the Taliban negotiation teams will indeed start in the next few weeks in Doha during the month of July. As the two sides embark on what will likely be a long and complex series of talks, I have encouraged them to show the necessary flexibility and foresight, the commitment to peace, and most importantly, compassion for their people that will be needed to bring these negotiations to a successful conclusion. The formal announcement of a three-day Eid ceasefire by the Taliban and the government led to a welcome and much needed reduction in violence. A reduction in violence, as you know, is essential to an environment conducive for peace talks and to pave the way for an eventual permanent ceasefire. But the recent spiraling levels of violence threaten this process. I want to highlight, however, the commitment shown by both sides in the recent challenging issue of prisoner releases. This is an important confidence building measure that has created momentum towards the negotiations. As I am speaking to you now, we are in the final stages, and it is noteworthy that both sides have agreed that the talks could start within a week of the completion of the prisoner releases. But again, this must be commensurate with a reduction in violence.